President Liao, President、um, Tsai, Director Lin, Professor Yun, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the annual Global Globalizations Forum. In the past year. We encounter climate crisis, droughts, heat waves, floods, and other crises. We also encounter geopolitical tensions. The war between Ukraine and Russia、uh, leads to energy crisis. Semiconductor industries around the world are also restructuring. And according to our uh, uh, data, 56% of our new investment in Taiwan consumes a lot of energy and power. So Taiwan is is facing an、um, unpredictable and unprecedented crisis like never before. I have mentioned in the past we have a. Writer in the past have mentioned have said that we are happy to be Taiwanese and also be a part of the global citizens. We are seeing changes in economy and industry, so we have to think about the next twenty, thirty, or forty years for the future generations. We also have a targets from the national governments in twenty thirty. Since that we are highlighted in the world under the current geopolitical tensions, we need to think about our future for sure. We would like to thank Fubang Financial Holdings and Fubang Cultural Educational Foundation for your support, so we can think together about our future and communicate positive messages to our society. Today we are very happy to have President Liao Junzhi from Academia Sinica to give us a keynote speech. Later on, we also have panel discussions、uh, from different parts of the world. In the afternoon, we will also announce the result of our surveys regarding to high carbon emitting industries. We want to know how labors and the public perceive、um, net zero targets and how they will be impacted by these changes. We hope that this survey results can be a good policy reference to our government. I hope that everyone can work together to move forward together. Thank you. Next, we would like to invite Chairperson Tsai Mingzhong from Fubang Groups to give us the opening remarks. Director, President Liao, Director Zhou,、um, Director Lin, distinguished guests, panelists, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I am excited to return to my university and. I was in discussions with Director Liao and President Liao that this building was donated by my relatives more than a decade ago. I think NTU have maintained and used this property and this venue very well, so we can organize the event today. In this venue, I feel honored.
today I have prepared a speech text with you because normally I speak casually, but today it is a very important event. This is our seventh annual Fubang Globalization Forum. While some people would say that globalization is dead, I think that our focus is not economic globalizations, but common issues around the world. Just like what Director Joe had mentioned earlier, we have encountered human survivals. Taiwan is not just a part of the world, but we are also a contributor to all hum all mankind. It's important for us to take our responsibilities. We are facing climate change that have exacerbated into a climate crisis. We are feeling the chill this week, but last week it was quite warm in weather. In Taiwan, I think now we only have two seasons, summer and winter, and the weather is going extreme in Taiwan. Yesterday, I read a report from, from a Financial Times on its web page, and as I saw that London is snowing and it comes much earlier than before. In the recent COP27, leaders around the world continue to talk about how we can limit the temperature rise under 1.5 degrees Celsius. We also, they also talk about carbon reductions targets and objectives. They also talk about just transition. Just transition is a important topic, not just in Taiwan, but also around the world. It's just transitions. So it is important that we take this phrase and this concept seriously. In the net zero journey, many carbon emitting industries will be impacted. As we are in the jet in the journey of net zero, many developing countries around the world, including African countries, are blaming developed countries for creating the climate crisis, and they think it is unjust that they have to shoulder the consequences. Therefore, they are requesting damages and compensation from developed countries regarding to what they have done in the past. So just transitions encompass infrastructure in the society so the society can be more resilient. We also need to think about green job and green job for youth, for younger generations. In the financial sector, we can also contribute to climate financing. Fubang is a financial company. In the past few years, we have done a lot in the financing process. We have set up the financing standard 
and we are the first financial companies in Taiwan who have committed not to invest it in high carbon emitting industries and power generation industries. We are also encouraging our customers to implement and use their finance and capital to conduct their green transition. I have told my employees that we should finance for their transitions and transformation. We hope that the capital we provide can not only support green and clean energy and green and clean industries, we also need to support those companies who will be impacted by the net zero process and help them along the way in their transitions. It will also secure their employ employment opportunities. We also know the significance and importance of renewable energy. Therefore, in 2022, Fubang Financial Holdings have become a RE100 members. We have um, pro uh, procured 670,000 uh, uh, kilowatt hour of um, renewable energy last year. As an industry player, we also hope that the governments can implement and meet the targets of net zeros by 2050. We urge the government to design a practical map and uh, pathway toward net zeros by 2050. And along the way, we can also secure resilience in the society. I think that it is our purpose to organize the events to ensure that we can have human-centered just transitions. It is important for us to introduce this important concept to industries, society, and governments. Last but not the least, I wish this event a huge success. Thank you very much.